everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is the next video in my ATAR revision series for 2019 and this video is about what to put on your page of notes for math subjects. So in WA we get two pieces of paper with both sides written on for notes in to take into our maths exams for maths apps, methods and specialists. I do methods and specialists so each time a set of exams rolls around I have to make a set of notes and quite a few sets of exams have rolled around in the past couple of years so I've got quite practiced at what to put on my notes and I know what I actually use during the exam which is not very much of it like I spend so much time on these notes and then I hardly ever look at them in the exam. Anyway, I do um, know kind of what stuff is good to put on your notes what stuff isn't so good to put on your notes and I've got a couple of little sneaky tips that we will um, chuck into this video as well. Alrighty, so obviously the first thing you're going to want to put on your notes sheets are the formulas that aren't on the formula sheet that you need. Why they have a formula sheet with not all the formulas on, I'm not too sure, but they do definitely not have all the formulas on the formula sheet. I know one formula that is quite important that they don't have on there is the quadratic formula and sometimes you do need that so that's an example of one I normally put on my formula sheet. Um, <laughs> but yeah, any formulas that you know you need, um, put them on there but don't put formulas on there that are on your formula sheet because then you're just wasting space on your page of notes. So always check the formula sheet to see if the formula is on there. If I say formula one more time, honestly. But um, yeah, that's, that's one thing to put on your page of notes. The next thing that I put on is a brief, brief summary um, from each topic notes that I've written for each of my topics. So after each math topic, I will write like one page of notes for it. And when I go to make my pages of notes that I can take into my exam, I go back and look at all the topic notes that I've made from throughout the year. And I put the important, the like really important parts that I think I what might need to know in the exam onto the formula sheet. I mean, onto my note sheet, if that makes sense. Like I look at it and if I think, I don't know, I just put like, the really, really important information from my topic notes onto my notes page. So on my notes page, I have a little section for each topic that I've done throughout the year. And then I've just got a little bit of important information on my note sheet. Sorry if the camera's moved a little bit. It has. Um, it died. <laughs> um, but I hope it doesn't die again because I only charged it for like five minutes. But anyway, um, what I was saying. Okay, so... The next thing that I always put on my formula sheet, I just have written down here, is things you need to know. Um, <laughs> so for example, in methods, like something you need to know is the different types of sampling and the different types of bias. Um, so those are just like written things that you kind of need to know and it's unlikely that like all of them will come up. but it's like possible that one of them might come up, they might ask you like a wordy question, they might ask you to explain something. So just having those things on your um, sheet of notes is very useful I think because if it comes up and you don't have them on there, you're going to be kicking yourself and that means that you don't need to like memorise them. I mean obviously you won't have your note sheet in the calculator free section so you might need to memorise them for that but like you don't need to memorise them for the calculator assume section um, and you have them all there. Um, so I think that's a good thing. Just any wordy things that you need to know like that, I would put on your notes sheet. And the last thing I always put on my note sheet is practice questions. So the questions I choose to put on your note sheet are questions that you find hard or questions that come up a lot or questions that come up quite a bit and have kind of like you answer them all kind of in the same way, like an optimization question, for example, um, if you know what that is. Like I always put one of those on my note sheet because you answer them all in the same way, like you go through the same steps to do them all. Um, yeah, so you can find these questions from your topic notes, from the exercises you've done, from your practice tests and exams. Whenever What I do is whenever I'm doing like practice exams before my maths exam, I will like page flag any questions that I think are good questions that I want to put on my notes sheet. 
and then after I've done all my practice exams and I'm making my note sheet, I will go through those page flags and pick some of them to put onto my note sheet. So that is what most of my note sheet is taken up with, is practice questions. Um, again, like I don't really look at most of them during the actual exam, but even if like one or two of them are helpful, then like you just don't know which ones are going to turn up, you don't know which ones are going to be helpful, so you kind of have to just put them all there and then just use the ones that you need. And I have a couple of tips um, as to just writing your page of notes. So if you want to fit more onto your page of notes, what you can do is you can write your page of notes on an A3 piece of paper and then shrink it down onto an A4 piece of paper. So um, that's just if your writing is quite big or if your writing is small and you want to fit more on. Um, I think I've tried this once before, not for an actual exam, just kind of to see what it was like. And it's quite good, like you can still read it, it's not ridiculously small. I could see it perfectly fine, it wasn't hard to read at all, I wasn't squinting to look at it. I thought it was going to be a lot smaller than it actually was, so yeah, it was fine. So if you want to fit more on A3 paper, then use a photocopier to like shrink it down onto A4. Because you're probably going to have like quite a lot of small writing on your note sheet, use colour and highlight things and use like a key so you know that like, um, say statistics is in orange and differentiation is in blue um so you kind of can visually find things a lot more easily because otherwise if there's no highlight on there it literally just looks like a massive page of tiny writing and it's you'll not be able to find things as quickly so definitely use highlight um or colors to group things together and indicate to you where things are so you can find things much more quickly and you're not wasting time during your exam. And the last tip is a very general tip, it is do not fold your page of notes and do not stick anything onto your page of notes because otherwise in your WISE or ATAR exam it will be taken off you, <laughs> like it, they'll just take it off you. I know in our mock exams a couple of girls did have folded notes or notes with things stuck onto them and the examiners were very nice, they looked at them, made sure there was no extra stuff on them and then gave them back to the girls, but in your actual proper WACE or ATAR exam they will not do that. They will just take your sheet of notes away from you and you will not have it. So if you don't want to lose your sheet of notes it just needs to be like just a piece of paper. No folds, no stuff stuck onto it. Um, yeah, so just don't do that. Like don't accidentally fold it before <laughs> you go in and definitely don't stick things onto it. If you need to put little bits of things onto um, your thing, then what I would do is get a piece of paper, stick all the bits that you want onto it. Um, say you want like to cut a question out of here and put it on and cut a quick whatever. Stick them all on it then go to the printer, photocopy it, and it will come out as like just a straight page with nothing stuck on, and then use that page. So yeah, just be careful with that because it will be taken away from you. So those were all of my tips for what to put on your maths notes page for your ATAR exams. Um, this was specifically for WACE exams because I'm from WA, so I hope it's the same in other states. Um, my camera battery is flashing again, so I'd better go. But if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment any video suggestions down below, and I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my channel for more study and revision videos just like this one. I have heaps and heaps, so go check out my channel and subscribe if you like. Hope you have a fabulous rest of your day, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye. My voice has gone really weird. Bye!